The number of Americans infected with the Zika virus is growing this morning. At least 31 cases are now reported in 11 states and Washington, D.C. Scientists say the virus is spreading at an explosive rate in Central and South America. Our chief medical correspondent, Dr. John LaPook, is tracking the threat. John, good morning. Good morning, Nora. The World Health Organization says in the next year, the Zika virus could infect 4 million people worldwide. The symptoms include fever, rash, joint pains, and conjunctivitis, or pink eye. Four in five people infected with the virus, however, have no obvious symptoms. It is now spreading explosively. There's no treatment and no vaccine for the rapidly spreading Zika virus. We need to get some answers quickly. The virus, which is spread by mosquitoes, has been detected in dozens of Americans after returning home from traveling abroad. But so far, there's no evidence anyone here has gotten Zika from an infected mosquito in the United States. Zika appears to be especially dangerous for pregnant women. It has been linked to children being born with a serious condition called microcephaly, where the head and brain are too small. Ana Palazzo traveled to her native Brazil in November, newly pregnant with twins. But I wasn't aware how serious it was. Concerned she could be infected, the 35-year-old cut her trip short and is now back in New York. I'm going to be a first-time mom. I went crazy because, like, I want to, be, to my babies to be safe. South America's first case of Zika virus was detected in Brazil in 2015. From there, it quickly spread throughout the country and the continent into Central America and the Caribbean. Dr. Beth Bell, an infectious diseases specialist at the CDC, says the type of mosquito that carries Zika exists in the U.S., but is not likely to spread as widely here as in places like Brazil, which is set to host the Summer Olympics in August. Here in the United States, where most people have screens on windows, many people have air conditioning, we don't expect to see explosive outbreaks of Zika virus. On Monday, a commission appointed by the World Health Organization will hold an emergency meeting in Switzerland. Dr. Anthony Fauci, head of the infectious diseases branch of the NIH, told me a vaccine trial will likely be started by the end of this year, but a widely available vaccine would take several years to develop. Well, that's scary. Indeed. Thank you, John. Thank you.